What's up YouTube, this is JV Panther, back on video, and today's video is actually my Jujutsu Kaisen episode 8 review. We're about to get to this episode right now, let's dive deep into it. So first of all, this episode, I ain't gonna lie, I kinda like this episode, man. I'm telling you, this feels like an old school anime from the 90s or early 2000s, just the way it feels like, right? So pretty much we have the first years, and then you have the second years. So then we have Fujigoro who's the second year, you have uh, Nabar who's the number, uh, first year, and the beginning of the episode is pretty much them, you know, walking around, going to the venues, getting a drink from like the soda machine, stuff like that. And then you have Panda and the other guy pretty much saying that, you know, we have the exchange event, whatever, we have to make sure we watch out for them because, you know, we got the third year students that are gonna try to go after them. Then the third year students pop up, and they see Fujigora and Nabara, and it's to Tota, and then you have Maya, like Makia, or Mai, you would say, and pretty much they seem, it seems like they're just looking for a fight, they're like, oh, Fujigora, there you are, and they pretty much kind of insult uh, both of uh, Nabara and Fujigora, say, oh, well, didn't your uh, friend just die, how sad, blah, 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 like, it's kind of like, they're insulting uh, Sukuna's vessel. How sad. They kind of like insulting them a little bit. Like, just to make sure. Pretty much saying that you're so weak that you couldn't even protect your friend and stuff like that. And then you have uh, Toda, Toda. Where he's just like, you know, this big muscular guy or whatever. And he's about to fight Fujitora. He pretty much gets like, he looks like he's excited. Like really, really getting in the mood. And he's like... Uh, Fujigora, we gotta do this right now, and he takes off his shirt, gets all loud and crazy, whatever, and he pretty much says something, which I'm just like very, very, wow, I'm surprised they had the balls to say this, right? He pretty much says, it's time to fight, and he says, depending on your answer, I will either give you a half death, either I'll kill you, or I'll give you just a regular ass beating, pretty much, and pretty much he says is that, he pretty much tells Fujigoro, like, what type of girls are you like? What are you talking about? What type of girls are you like? And he says, my prefer his preference is tall girls with fat asses. I'm like, wow! Like, I'm like, damn! Just to say that in this political climate? I'm like, well, I'm like oh, no, that's like sexual, like, uh, aggression, kind of. You know what I mean? And those two are like, wait, what? what does my type have to do with anything? And he's like, yo, tell me your type. Tell me your type. Means that, and he goes on, you know, uh, Toto goes into detail with, you know, chicks with, you know, nice bodies, big titties, fat ass, and stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, just to say all that in this era right now, I don't know the way the political climate is. But again, it's in Japan, so it might be a lot different. But just to go in old school like that, he just doesn't care. He's like, and Fujikura says, my type is a woman that has a nice heart and personality, that's what I care about. And then Toto's like, Toto is like, I am very, very disappointed. He cries and he beats his ass. I'm like, wow! He just beats the crap out of him. He's like, nah, that was the wrong answer. I did not want to hear. I'm like, wow! And he just beats the crap out of him. And then you have it where the ball is trying to get in there, and then uh, Mai grabs her almost like aggressively and whispers to her ear and pretty much puts a gun in her, you know, uh, on her stomach. And Fujigora and Toda is about to fight. And he's like, oh man, I didn't like the answer. He was crying. He was very insulted. So he just keeps beating the crap out of, out of Fujigora. Fujigora does his little toe technique or whatever it is. The toe. And he just goes in there. And he realizes, like, this guy's Toda, he's, like, really, really powerful. I mean, he destroyed, like, special grade curses, stuff like that. And the problem is that with uh, Fujigora, he thinks he got this in the bag. And Toda is like, no! And he just, boom, boom, boom. Like he just does some like fist of the North Star, grabs him, body slams him, punches him out, throws him, kicks him, just use him as a rag doll, and he just grabs his face, punches him, throws him to the building, and whoops his ass, and it's a point where uh, Fujigoro's like, I'm not gonna hold back, and Toto's like, yeah, I'm about to go in, and then the, the second year is, you know, the panda and the guy with the, who covers the face, they have to step in and be like, listen, enough. He says, I have to report you guys, blah, 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 and pretty much Toto is like, listen, I want to fight, and they put, the panda pretty much tells him that, why don't you save this for the event, you know, we have the exchange event, and he's like, fine, I came here to do other stuff, but he just beat the crap out of Fujigora, and he wasn't even, like, at full power. Fujigora looks like he was about to, you know, really be knocked out by that. I'm really surprised my boy was able to handle that type of smoke. But Fujigoro, that was my boy. But Toda, he don't give a crap. And then you have where Nabara's knocked out. Then you have uh, Zenpai comes in there trying to like 
stop uh, Mai from trying to shoot her, and then they're talking, talking about, I guess they're both sisters, they're twins, and they talk about how we're both losers, stuff like that, and then Nabara acts like she's, you know, kind of hurt, then she grabs Mai, trying to, you know, pretty much puts her on a headlock, and they pretty much talk, blah, 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 pretty much lock talking, blah, 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 and then Toto's like, enough, it's time for us to go, and they're like, what do you mean we gotta go, and he says, I gotta go to a concert to meet this, like, pop star chick, blah, 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 at Tokyo, and the three girls are like, wait, what? And it's like, you know, his personality, he's like, oh, this is my jacket, blah, blah, and he says, my, it's time for us to go, and they go, and then, uh, that's pretty much it for that part, then we get to the part where Gojo is talking to one of the teachers, or at least, uh, like, you could tell the master, he's a lot older, talking about how a sp special great curse comes in there and tries to attack, attack him, kill him, and it seems like, you know, we're not... Pretty much the way Gojo was talking, he was talking like a real G. He's pretty much saying, like, listen, I'm not going to be your uh, puppet, whatever, or be uh, a pawn for your games, whatever. You know what I mean? I almost got my life killed. And he says, I'm going to raise the next generation of sorcerers so they can beat you. And you could tell the, the guy... The old man, he's like, yeah, wait, what? I don't like the way you're talking. I'm like, yeah, I'll tell you what it is, man. I'm talking like a G. And then you have, like, the the, the chick in the suit. You could tell, uh, or, like, you could tell his, not escort, but, like, uh, like, uh, his assistant, whatever, you could tell. She's like, listen, if you keep talking like that, the report, he's like, go ahead. And you could tell she's like, oh, my God, go, Joe, talking to me. And it's like, let's be honest. She wanted the D. Let's keep it 100. She wanted the D. And he's like, oh, my God, go, Joe, go, Joe. And then she's trying to act all cool, trying to be all professional. But then the person like, oh, no, blah, blah. And then go, Joe, you know, talks to uh, the old guy, whatever. And he pretty much says, watch your mouth. And he's like, no, that's pretty much what I say. And then, of course, he leaves. And then, you know, he pops up and says, uh, pretty much says, uh, you know, the principal's gonna be here in like two hours, see ya, and then the chick, you know, you could tell she's all blushing, stuff like that, and then the old guy's telling her is that, can you go buy me some tea, and then she's like, yes, excuse me, and I will, and then she runs, is like, oh, I gotta get a picture of Gojo, as it is, I finally can, and then of course he, you know, Toda and Mai are at the event, well, at least, no, to Toda is at the event, and, uh, you know, he's like, he's all shocked because the girl's holding his hand, and he's all shocked, and, oh my god, she loves me, blah, 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 and, you know, the security's like, oh, we gotta get him out, blah, 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 and, of course, we get to, like, it seems like we're in a time skip or whatever it is. this, like, 2018 or before all that, so it seems like we're just skipping timelines or, like, it's almost like we're time traveling almost, like, we're skipping, we're in the past, then we're in the future, and it seems like all this is all in the past, and then eventually it gets built up to whatever happens in the present, but it seems like, you know, there's reports of three uh, teenagers that their face is all messed up in a theater, and then we find out that, you know, the, the curse, the main bad guy, he's walking around in the alley, and then some kid pops up and says, hey, are you, guy, are you the guy, what you did in theater, was that you? And he's like, oh, you could see me. Yeah, and then blah, blah, blah. And I guess they paused, and that was pretty much the end of the episode. And, of course, you know, you have, like, the other stuff as well, where the chick actually goes, meet Gojo, takes a picture. You know, like, funny, like, slice of life type of stuff. Then he go, she goes back to, you know, to the old guy, and, she, you know, she goes up, she gets the picture, blah, blah. And he tells, like, did you forget to buy me tea? He's like, oh, I forgot, blah, blah, blah. And then that's pretty much it. And then, of course, you have some other, like, slice of life stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm not getting into all that. But you guys can check it out at the end of the episode. But overall, I mean, we saw the other preview. But the point I'm trying to say is that, dude, this episode was fire. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be honest with you, man. I know you guys might agree or disagree with me. I mean, the way he's, uh, Toto said all that whole, well, I like a tall girl with fat ass and dumb big tears. I'm like, wow, that is pretty aggressive. So for him to even say all that, uh, it's crazy. Uh, I'm surprised there's no backlash or no Me Too movement or, you know, or, uh, Women's March outrage. I, I'm surprised there's no, like, social media outrage with that episode or this episode. But, hey, I guess, you know, right now they're worrying about way more political stuff. You know, you have a global race war, pandemic, recession, quarter million people die of COVID, Trump lost election. So, I think you have way more important things rather than... And, you know, something that a Japanese cartoon said. I think that's just what it is. So, I'm happy. I thought this episode was good. I give this a 9 out of 10. I really love the series. 
We haven't had a bad episode yet. It's already episode eight, and I have no problems or no flaws going forward. You know what I mean? At least with this series going forward. And it's not it's only going to be 24 episodes, but I'd rather it be 24 episodes than have, like, oh, we got to have 100 more episodes and add filler and stuff like that. No, I think it's better to do a series se series like this seasonal. And I think this is a good thing to kind of, like, all right, well, My Year Academia is coming out next year. When Jujutsu Kaisen ends, uh, My Year Academia Season 5. And you'll be like... Because trust me, when I read the manga, you'll be like, I don't want my hero, I want Jujutsu Kaisen! I want OPS! I want all my hero academia! So, you know, like, it's going to be kind of crazy after Jujutsu ends. to be like, I'd rather have more Jujutsu! I don't want my hero! You know, but it'd be very, very funny just to have that placeholder. And I think if My Hero Academia ends, like, you know, Season 5 ends, it'll be good to put, like, Jujutsu Kaisen in there. Like, Season 2, I'm like, yeah! crazy so overall i like this episode i thought it was really good tell me what you guys think about this episode let me know in the comment section below make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe make sure you subscribe to the channel peace and have a great day and take care